It's been a difficult season uh, with a cold late spring and then not the best of summers. Uh, the autumn has been reasonable. We've had some sunny spells, decent spell of about, I don't know, 10 days sunshine uh, in late September. But overall quite a poor season and yet we've got a heavy crop. Um, we've survived some of the most difficult times in a vineyard year, one of which is late May when if you get spring frosts you can have a lot of damage. We haven't had that. We got through that beautifully. So we have a really big set of um, fruit on the vines. Some of it will not actually ripen well enough on the very late varieties, but we knew that when we planted. So things like Pinot Noir and Chardonnay that we grow for sparkling wine, this year will be a year when we don't pick those at all. But that's only 5% of what we grow, and, and the rest we should get. I'd be expecting to make five or 6,000 bottles of still wine. That's white, rosé, and hopefully a tiny bit of red, provided the sunshine carries on. Oh, that's brilliant. I wish they were all that good. That's enough for a wine of about 11% alcohol. So that's a lovely ripe grape. Well, the most important thing for vineyards in the Midlands and north of England is to make sure that you grow early and mid-season varieties that will ripen reliably year after year and particularly to include some of the heavy cropping varieties to make sure that you do get enough wine through to pay the bills. We probably have about 15 different varieties which is more than you would normally plant in a vineyard but because we are vine suppliers to other people it's worth having a whole range for people to see growing here. Um, most importantly my wife would say that we have no plans to plant any more vines. 10,000 is quite enough on, on 10 acres. It's an awful lot of work because each one needs looking after by hand several times a year.